cool now let's uh, switch gears and uh, move on to uh tips to get your resume shortlisted at amazon a very frequent question uh, that i get is uh, uh something like this like they have you know uh, and guys feel free to let us know if you have applied to amazon and you have not been able to uh, get your resume shortlisted i just put it on the chat uh but yeah i i hear this a lot on uh you know like uh, people message me that you know they have tried applying for multiple roles but it has not uh helped and the resume doesn't get a uh, shortlisted all right <clears throat> so uh in that scenario hold on from applying further there is no point in keep applying unless you understand what the gaps are and you know like you should be taking a step back and reflect what you should be doing differently to get your resume uh, shortlisted right uh you might uh, obviously when you apply, you will not be getting any feedback that you know, like uh, if your resume is not shortlisted, it's you know, like if you apply directly from the website, and it's true from for almost any company. If you keep applying, uh, it, it's not a guarantee that you know, like uh, uh, it's getting shortlisted, right? Uh, it should not be difficult, very frankly, to understand what the hiring managers or the recruiters are looking for if you try and understand from their view perspective keep yourself in their shoes and see what they are looking for they are bombarded with like hundreds and thousands of resumes daily what's different in your resume or what's unique in your resume or what's making your resume compelling enough for them to stop at your resume and say okay this is the right candidate let me try and contact this person so let's look into uh, that right so I have a couple of uh, a few tips. The first is finding the right role. Like Amazon has thousands of openings. If you go into Amazon.com and select any location of your preference, they do have thousands of uh, openings, right? So it's important that you take time to browse through the jobs and find the matching role for yourself. Like giving my own example, I was a .NET developer all around in my career and with very less experience or minimal experience on cloud or aws or uh, any other like infrastructure background or anything so uh, i was not sure whether or not amazon would be having any openings for a dotnet developer right but i kept on browsing and there was one specific role that i was able to found uh, that was like you know uh developer for microsoft toolings or something like that you know i don't remember the exactly you know like uh, the description but that was it and i said this is what exactly matches my you know like current skills right and i was able to find that probably on 11th or 12th page of keep browsing their roles right because all the roles were cloud solutions architect and at that time i i was i was not sure if i was ready for a cloud solutions architect role but yeah definitely on a .NET, you know like a solutions architect role yes i was there so you need to browse through, take that time to do that. <clears throat> and yeah, do not apply randomly. It does not increase your chances. Like I have had conversations with people. They think that it's a numbers game. If they apply for 200 uh, uh, job openings, uh, there will be any one recruiter who will be looking into their resume. It, it might happen. You can take your chance. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it generally I have not seen that uh, working. You know, like when I work with someone, I ask them to go through the, uh, you know, like, uh, jobs carefully and send me the top three job ids and prioritize in the way that it matches your skill and the way that you see yourself working as a specific working in a specific role in the future and send me in those three particular role and i refer them like you know for the top one wait for the outcome if it gets shortlisted great if not then i go to the second one and then I go to the third one but yeah I, I do not recommend people to apply to hundreds and hundreds of you know like just keep pressing the apply button it, it doesn't help much why that doesn't help much because every role is different and you need to ensure that you are tailoring your resume this is the most important thing that you can do to ensure that your resume gets shortlisted you know if you're an experienced a professional in all probability you would have worked on more than one technology right you you would have you have multiple skills each of us would be having multiple skills here and you need to ensure that you're highlighting the kind of skill that is required for that particular role you know there are a lot of you know like uh, uh, analysis and researches available online that how many seconds a resume uh, is looked upon by a recruiter before before flipping to the next uh, 
resume, right? So you have to ensure that you catch that attention with the keywords that are mentioned in the job role in your resume, which are highlighted, right? And keep your resume short and concise. Uh, we all have enough experience that we can have a 10 page resume. It doesn't help, you know, res most uh, recruiters probably do not look beyond page two or even page one. So ensure that your, you know, that's my recommendation is that keep your resume to one or two pages or max three pages if it is actually required. Otherwise, irrespective of how many years of experience you have, you should be able to concise them into one or two pages. The key highlights, right? <clears throat> okay. Uh, finally, get a referral. And this will be again true for any company, you know, it's, it's not just Amazon, you know, like, uh, in fact, for all these tips would be for any company, uh, you know, uh, any recruiter would be having a tens and, you know, like uh, of resumes in front of them, right? So how do you skip that line? And how can you get in front of them? Right? To is to know someone internally and ask them for a referral and if they're able to refer so how i do is that you know like uh, if i am you know, like if i'm referring someone i reach out to the recruiter and the hiring manager internally and send them a note uh, either on internal messaging or send them an email saying that hey i know this person it seems like a great match for this role or if, if i work with that person i wanted that person for some duration i attach that note and then uh, more often than that, I see that the hiring manager responding very quickly, either by, you know, like, uh, okay, let's proceed and have the first phone screen, or these are the reasons why I don't think this person is not the right candidate. And in that scenario, I am able to feedback it back to the person that, okay, see this, this is the gap we need to fill, right? Or good, you have the interview scheduled. Uh, let's see how we can prepare it. So, and if you don't know enough Amazonians, build your network. It's not that difficult. There are a lot of Amazonians on LinkedIn. Uh, and, you know, like depending upon what your social, you know, like your favorite social platform is, if you're more active on Twitter, feel free to do that. But yeah, build your network. You know, no more Amazonians and even the recruiters within the Amazonians. And that comes to my final point, which is let Amazon recruiters find you. There are so many people who reach out to me saying that, hey, Amazon recruiter contacted me directly. How should I prepare for the interview? And that's, you know, the point I'm highlighting here is that Amazon recruiters are always on the hunt for candidates. We have so many openings and Amazon recruiters are trying very hard to fill them out. So they keep scouting for the right candidates, uh, you know, like uh, on LinkedIn and other social platforms. So uh, make yourself visible to them. Make sure that if an Amazon recruiter chances upon your LinkedIn profile, then your LinkedIn profile is giving enough information to them to make that decision instantly that, yes, this is the person that I should be clicking on message and sending them, you know, like, hey, this is a role. Would you like to talk to? Uh, similarly, for hiring managers, every hiring manager is scouting. Uh, you know, like most hiring managers, if you see on Amazon, they do have it in their, you know, about section or, you know, like, or their uh, tagline that I'm hiring, right? So that means that they are spending some time online to find the right candidates. So ensure that when they chance upon your profile, your profile is giving them enough information for them to reach out to you directly. And how will they chance upon your profile? If you're active on LinkedIn and if you're sharing your knowledge on LinkedIn and you're increasing your network. Right. So that, that's pretty much that I would say, you know, like these few simple tips can really help you, you know, like uh, get the first, you know, like hurdle through, which is getting your resume shortlisted. And I have seen many people, you know, like following these and getting, you know, like a resume shortlisted and reaching to the first phone screen stage. And that's when, you know, the, uh, you know, you, you feel that the struggle is to get your resume shortlisted. I would say the struggle is once your resume gets shortlisted, even that it's a, a, it's a quite a, uh, a good fun uphill task i would say take time to prepare well when your resume gets shortlisted you know you it takes you time to get your resume shortlisted do not waste that opportunity by rushing into getting your interview scheduled like you know okay re recruiter contacted me today i need to give interview within two days no it's not that case you can always ask for a couple of weeks even more than that to get your interview scheduled because prepare well there is no way you can appear for an amazon interview without knowing about amazon leadership principles you know and we'll talk about that in the future sessions we're up on the time but yeah you can always start about 
uh, uh, learning more about how to interview Amazon at this link. And we'll keep continuing about that, you know, like tips and tricks about how to, you know, like uh, be, uh, how to you know, like give Amazon interviews like a pro. That's pretty much from my side. Yes. Okay, good. So, so a couple of questions on that, like, hey, uh, should we put our pet projects on the resume? Why not? So, see. Exactly. It, yeah, exactly. It, there's no harm. Right. See, if that is what is showing your skills, why not? Uh, if your project is completely related to the job role that you're applying for, then you might think about <laughs> the space, right? That you don't want to have your 10 pages you may talking about some things that you have not done, you have done, which is not related to the role. But if it is something related to the role, highlight it you know exactly yeah and yes you get time to uh, so when when you appear for interview you would get time people are not rushing you the interviewer would give you sufficient time so so leverage it leverage your network uh, we we can reach out to hiring manager if we feel candidates are aligned and we feel that yes they can be a good great addition in amazon we always try to reach out but if if we get 20 resumes and there is all for software uh, development position and you are having like a QA experience or maybe having a solution architect, it's not aligning. So maybe not that position, but look for other position. As Prasad said that don't keep on applying. It doesn't help unless it is aligned, unless you know what you are going for. Even at least the, there are two sections in your profile, in your job description. One is basic qualification and then is recommended qualification or what we are looking for is like what you should have or what must have. So at least must have should match and then when you can work for the what should have but if there is complete mismatch is though no point it's just wasting everyone's time yours ours and recruiter so there is no point in doing it we are happy to refer you just do little homework and see hey this is what position i think could be useful and something is aligned but i have a question can we talk about it so we would be always happy to it you can reach out to me prasad james or anyone in the base of program we try to answer as much as we can on linkedin and we would be happy to refer you if you have done it all and right and you if you get referral Joan, exactly just, you know, like, try and build that you know relationship like between you ask you know not just as as a besa members but also any amazonians in wider group like hey i have found this role can you refer me i do not know you enough to think about that right and if if like we have like 20 messages coming in a day i might not be able to look into all those 20 messages right so ensure that when you message build that network like there are a few people uh, probably what i'll do in one of the session right i'll try and find the right way to network we will we'll find some messages that we get and we'll say why a, a particular way of messaging someone you don't know is good uh, and you know like uh, are more likely to get a response than the other uh, yeah exactly now there's a question like does it help to have aws certification when you are applying for non-tech role example marketing i won't say it is mandatory but uh, a basic cloud practitioner, it becomes like a new normal nowadays. Like if you are working for a cloud company and you do not know what cloud is, then then obviously there is some gap. So probably we would see that every Amazonian is now going towards it who are internal. And if you have it, it would give you an edge. If I'm sorting out as a recruiter 10 marketing people and one of them has cloud practitioner probably i would be a little more inclined because this person has already taken their first step towards their amazon journey so they may be aligning more to my requirement so so that would work in that case right so feel free to reach out would be happy to help as much as we can and build your network work toward achieving your career goal and if we can be in, of any help just reach out thank you everyone Thanks, James. Thanks, Prasad. And we will talk to you in next session.